Hello YouTube and welcome diecast enthusiasts. For this video I'm just showing you some models that I picked up at a local toy fair meet weekend just gone and um, a guy who I do know he's a sort of a pal really he um, from time to time clears out some of his cabinet and he collects similar items to me in that he has green light and Johnny Lightning and Auto World and occasional M2 and a few Hot Wheels and he had quite a few loose ones that he decided to sell and I picked up as many as I could or as many as I really liked so it's quite an expensive trip really um, but I've got some nice ones. The ones I'm going to show you today are all from Greenlight. Now the advantage for me when I pick up loose models is I don't have to debate whether I'm going to take them from the card or not. I can just put them on display when I've got more space that is. Um, so it's an easy decision in that they're obviously a wee bit cheaper anyway and it just cuts out the dilemma of keeping them carded as I say. So this first one here is a Plymouth GTX and it's got a green post at the front so it is one of the older ones and what I have noticed about some of these green light is the quality and the weight is so much better than the ones that they're producing now. I'm not complaining about the ones that are currently being released but these ones are predominantly better so that's the Plymouth GTX the next one is it's not so old this one it's a Cadillac Fleetwood from 1955 and it's a chase version now I would have bought it anyway if it had just been a standard release but it looks okay as a chase I don't like all these chase versions especially with the green wheels because it does take away from the traditional look that we would see but this was the only one he had so I was happy to take it Incidentally there's 12 cars here and I'm showing you in them in order of my preference so the first one that I did show is probably my least favourite and the final one um, will be the star of the show in effect so really this is in 10th place for me and it's a 1965 Ford Galaxy it's quite a nice colour in this metallic blue. Now I've got a few Ford Galaxies here and some of them are the same. But I'm quite shallow when it comes to colours. So I have got favourites further up the list than this one here. Even though it's the same casting. Although there is only one of these to be fair because this is the convertible. Coming up next and this is a 1966 Ford Galaxy and it's from the Black Bandit series. Some of the Black Bandits I do like, others not so keen but this one I do like. Looks really effective. I'm not a huge fan of dark coloured cars just because they tend to lose some of their definition and detail when on display that's why I tend to go for the brighter colours yellows and oranges and purples etc coming up next is the 1966 Ford Galaxy 500 in this very nice blue 
actually sure if this has got a green post. No. But I do like the look of this one. Nice wheels and I do like that colour blue. So that is quite smart. Not sure when this would have been released but it is definitely one of the older ones. Not a recent release. Another Ford Galaxy coming up here and it's a 65 and I like this in the red, very smart and what I have noticed on these as well going back to the the fact that some of the older castings are better in that the white wall tyres are far better whereas the ones that have been produced certainly in the last few years they are a bit irregular when they're fitted to the wheels which is a shame so it just shows you when maybe things were produced a few years ago there was a much more attention to detail and quality control. This one here, when it focuses, you'll be able to see it hopefully. And it's the 1967 Ford Custom in this pale blue. Again, like the wheels on this one, and I do like this casting. Has got an opening hood, but I haven't worried about opening any of these up. But it's very nice. All on quite a similar vein, some of these castings, apart from the 55 Cadillac. which is good because they certainly appeal to me. This one's the 1967 Chevy Impala in this darker metallic blue. Looks great with the Goodyear tyres and the chrome wheels. Another nice casting, I think. This one's the 65 Ford Galaxy. And we did have a 65 earlier. But this one I do prefer the colour in the burgundy and black vinyl roof. And again those wheels look really smart. So really pleased with this one. Three more to go. So this is in effect in third place. And it's the 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner in this metallic purple. Again, great looking wheels. BF Goodrich tyres on these one. Nice black stripe going down the hood. Black interior. But really smart muscle car this one, very nice. The next one, and this would be in second place of preference, and it's the 1968 Chevy Impala SS in this silver and again a black vinyl roof. Nice white wall finished tyres and chrome wheels. Really smart. I 
So we've got one more to show and it's going to be my star of the show. And it's another Ford Galaxy from 1966. But this one is fully customised. And it looks great in the red with the flame decals. Again with really nice white wall tyres. Grey centres to the chrome wheels which is a really nice touch. Not sure what series this one would have come from but it's really nice. Never seen this one before. It's one of the older ones. I'll have a look in a moment to see if it's got a green post. But really smart. Yes, it has green post at the front. So that's it. This the 12 green lights. Um, now I've got some Auto World to show and a few Hot Wheels and a few Johnny Lightnings. So um, I'm going to call this something like Toy Fair Hall Part 1 in the listing and the others will follow on in a few days or so. But I hope you've enjoyed this anyway. So take care, stay safe and of course bye for now.